everyone and welcome back to Nick Stitch Designs with me Sylvia. In today's video I am going to show you how to crochet these very cute slippers. For today's slippers I will be using this beautiful yellow yarn and it's a category 5 yarn, chunky. I will be using 7 millimeters hook. You will need a yarn needle, a stitch marker, a pair of scissors and a tape measure. First we are going to start with the magic ring. Hold your yarn and lock so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook and return and go under this one here and pull through the loop you have on your hook like so and this is your magic ring and this chain of one is not counting as your first stitch. Now for the toddlers 3 to 5 years place seven single crochet inside the magic ring. For women place 10 single crochet or 11 for wider feet and for men place 12 single crochet inside this magic ring. And remember this first one is not counting as your first. So insert your hook inside the magic ring, yarn over, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. And this is your very first single crochet and place your stitch marker. So we have one and we need six more because in this video I am making toddler size. So we will have all together seven single crochet inside this magic ring. So now I have seven single crochet inside the magic ring and now you can pull this yarn end to close your ring. With this yarn it may be a little bit trickier. <laughs> so close it like this completely. For round two, we'll be placing two single crochet in every stitch around. So where is your stitch marker? That's your very first stitch. And in each of these stitches you will place two single crochet. So take your stitch marker out and place two single crochet. So that's your first one. Replace your stitch marker and one more into the same gap. With this yarn it may be a little bit trickier so just fill it with your fingers. So find the next one which is right here and place two single crochet again. So we have one, two, three, four and next one five and six and so on all the way around two single crochet in each stitch around And I am finishing and I have my last gap here. So I will place my last two single crochet in there. And at the end of this round two you should have double. So I started with seven. So in this round two I should have 14 stitches. 
so for this round three as you can see this is my very first stage and for this round three you'll be working in the spaces again if you are not sure just have a look at the top where is your stitch and underneath is a little space so you'll be working in those spaces and you will place one single crochet in each space and you can look from the top as you can see the stitches much better and then underneath is the space so you will work all the way around and you should still have 14 stitches so for round three look from the top and find your first gap place your first single crochet then find the next one which is right here if you are not sure look from the top and it will be much easier and count your stitches from now on you will always have 14 stitches all the way around So work like this and you don't even have to replace the stitch marker because you will be working into the spiral so you will just work around and around and around and you won't be slip stitching at the end of each round at all be working like this into the spiral around and around and you can also turn your slipper like this so it will be much easier to see the gaps and continue placing your single crochet all the way around and we still have only 14 stitches So continue working like so until you reach the front of your ankle as seen on this picture and this is for all sizes so you will continue like so until you get to the front so for my toddler size in measurements I have about 5 inches or 12 and a half centimeters and if you want the round I have altogether 10 rounds and this is the front of our slipper completed for the next part we are going to work on the heel so you are going to chain one and stop wherever you like and then you are going to place your first single crochet right in this first space like so and then you will do so all the way back placing single crochet all the way across until you have only three unworked stitches for toddler sizes for women sizes you are going to leave five unworked stitches in the front and for men sizes you are going to leave six unworked stitches so we are not counting this one here because we already worked this one two three and into this fourth one you are going to place the stitch marker because this is the toddler size so your last stitch will be where is your stitch marker so just to double check one two three we're skipping and into the fourth one place your single crochet 
like so. Now we have three skipped stitches. Just to double check. Chain one and we are going to work all the way back. So turn your slipper like so and find your first space and place your first single crochet again and work your way back. Placing single crochet in each space or stitch. And I have only few stitches left here, so I will find my last single crochet, which is right here. Chain one and turn your work. And again, so you will be repeating this there and back, there and back until when you put your foot in your heel should not be sticking out as seen on this short video right here and you should have a little bit left at the back so when we sew the slipper it's really nice and comfy and not too tight so continue working like so there and back there and back placing single crochet until you get the length you need for your size. And remember, once you get your last stitch, chain one and turn your work and continue working on your rows. So that's what I have so far for my slipper. And this is the toddler size, three to five years old. now we are ready to close the heel. So to close the heel, I'm going to leave this loop like so on this side. Chain one. And now we are ready to close our heel. So turn your slipper downwards like so. And fold it in half and we'll be sewing the heel right here. So again, Fold it like so. Take your hook out and find the first stitch on the side closer to you. It may be a little bit tricky, just try your best. So insert your hook and place the loop from the opposite side on your hook like so and pull through like this. And chain one like so now you are going to look at the stitches from the top and you should have stitch on one side and stitch on the other side like so now find your first stitch on the side close to you which is here and then find the stitch on the opposite side yarn over bring it up and work your single crochet and again find the next stitch on the side closer to you on the opposite side and finish your single crochet and that's how you are going to close your heel just try to match the stitches on both sides like this and then the last one just try to close it as good as you can there is only one stitch in the middle chain one and now you are ready to fasten off and hide your end inside the heel so cut your yarn pull and fasten off now if you don't have your yarn needle big enough you can also do it with a smaller hook so i will be using 3.5 millimeter hook to show you how you can hide the end inside the seam with the hook so you will simply just insert your hook in the stitch and pull through and you will go from one side to the other until you hide the end completely 
like this. And then you will go as high as you can. And then you will go back. Just make sure the end is nice and secure inside the seam. So when you wash your slipper, it won't come off. Like so. You can do one more. Like this. And cut your yarn like so. And your end is hidden nicely inside the heel seam. And this is what we have so far and it should be nicely in line when you look at the back of your heel. So this is our slipper completed. Now you are going to insert your hook inside the heel seam like this and pull the yarn through. Create a knot like so. And you can hide this end as you go or you can hide it later on inside the heel seam again. Insert your hook, bring the yarn through and chain one. Now you will work single crochet all the way around and you will try your best to find the gaps as you go. Not to worry, if it's not perfect, you just try your best to play single crochet all the way around so it will look nice and neat. And you can place the stitch marker into your first stitch so when you go around you know that was your first single crochet right there so you won't work into the chain one. Now find the next gap and as I said you can hold the yarn end and hide it as you go and place the single crochet in each gap you see as you work like so single crochet in the front right here between and so on until you get to your stitch marker and I am finishing this first round and as you can see I have only one stitch left here and one more inside the seam and now where is your stitch marker you are not going to slip stitch you will work into the spiral as we did on our slipper so again where was my stitch marker I will place my single crochet and of course you can replace your stitch marker into your first stitch if you like but we will be working into the spiral so you don't really have to so it's totally up to you so now you will work single crochet all the way around again and again for as many rounds as you like and you can go as high as you like so it's up to you if you want to keep it just low or really high it's totally your choice so continue working like so for as many rounds as you like And remember at the end of each round you won't be slip stitching you will simply start new round with a single crochet like so and you know it's the end of the round or the start of new round because you pass the seam at your heel so continue working as many rounds as you want so for me I have one two three four five rounds for my toddler slippers but of course it's up to you you can have more or less and I am going to finish here and this is my slipper so far and now I'm ready to fasten off 
and you will find the middle so where is your heel seam you will find the last space and slip stitch like so chain one and fasten off like this and of course hide your end you can do this with yarn needle if you don't have your yarn needle big enough for this yarn you can use the hook so i will be using again my 3.5 millimeters hook and you can hide it inside the seam or go around like me and we will do exactly the same what we did on our heel so we will go into each stage from one side and then from the other side like so simply just hide it the best you can and make sure you go back as well so it's secured when you wash your slippers and cut your yarn like so and these are your beautiful slippers i love the colors my son picked it so these slippers are for him and he really really loves them and last thing please don't forget to add non-slippery treatment to your slippers i'm gonna leave the video at the end of this video because the crochet slippers can be very very slippery and dangerous on wooden floors so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias i am on facebook pinterest instagram and tiktok thank you very much for watching